so guys today we will review this new prosumer lens that is 4.5 variable focus lens not magnification magnification will be same so you can vary the focus by loosening this back side that i will show you in a minute so this is 4.5 that is same as the previous old 4.5 macro lens but in this case there is one extra feature that you remove this back whole total body and you can adjust the focus so let me remove this top cap after removing the top cap it looks like this so let's test this lens before that let me show you how to change the focus you just have to loosen the back side like this you can remove the back part and you put it like this so that the focus will be changed or you can push it up to the end so that it will have the minimum focus now let's test with the minimum focus then we will change the focus and see how it looks like when the focus will be changed so let's plug it in as you can see there is a black border like any other prosumer lenses so we'll fix it on the center this black border is very less because you don't have to do 1.7x zoom 1.6x zoom is enough in this case and you can see a flat background let's test it on a subject the focusing distance is 5 cm or 4 cm you can see a flat background it is sharp as hell very nice lens as we already know these prosumer lenses are made for from DSLR lenses DSLR or point and shoot cameras so they have the best quality glass so, As you can see these are very sharp and clear you can see very flat background if you want to see if there is any bokeh let's test that and you can see little bit circular bokeh from this lens as well few pictures so that I will share this with you on Facebook page of Epixel India and on my own Facebook page Lucrative Photography don't forget, forget to like those pages so that you can see all the simple shots just search on Facebook Epixel India or lucrative photography the links will be in the description you can check them as you can see this lens is very good in focusing from a distant place from a distance of 5 cm so the box will not be afraid of your lens currently shooting in automatic mode I am not using any manual mode manual focusing there is very less number of box here only flower is there let me see if I can get anything else
the minimum focus distance you can go is one centimeter and the maximum you can focus is four to five centimeter so that's a quite good range you can see how sharp it is you can see single strands of this grass and the background is flat almost flat still you can see some white objects here and there in the background so after testing in minimum focus mode let's switch it to a different focal length and we will see if there is any change in any of the properties of this lens so i am keeping it like this this is the not the maximum focus but i have changed the focus by dragging this part outside a little bit now we will plug the lens again you have to be careful that back part will come out so check with that now we can see the black border again and we have to zoom it to remove this and it takes 2.2x zoom in this case in the previous case it was only 1.6x but in this case one thing you can see the background is flat you cannot see those white objects anymore so you can see only one color and the background distance currently is only 20 cm and we'll check with the same grass again the distance focus distance is same 4.5 cm or 4 cm you can also go close to 1 cm distance So in both mode you will get two different types of background in lowest focus mode you will get less flat background in different high focal length mode you will get a flat background so this is very good this length is very good so let's go to the same flower again and try to show two three more images the only difference between these two mod are the background because focusing length is same and one more difference is that the you will get big black border in long focus you have to do 2.2x zoom so if you don't want to do more zoom then you shoot it in lower focal length now with this lens we'll zoom out a little bit so with this lens there is one more lens which is the extreme macro lens that we will test now this is the extreme macro lens it comes with the ribbon band and you have to just tie it around the phone so let me tie it on the camera like that on the center and amazing thing is that there is no black border 
or maybe you have to zoom 1.2x or 3x to remove any black border this extreme macro lens has very high magnification as you can see in the previous case you can see the whole flower in the bigger lens but in this case you can go very close and you can see only part of this flower also the background will be flat this is the extreme micro lens you can see very closely very tiny objects these objects are not even seen by the bigger macro lens the distance is almost 1 cm very high magnification background is not flat but you can see bokeh let's test the bokeh that means the circular things that appear in the background you can see little bit circular backgrounds i don't have big trees here otherwise i can test this so that is your extreme macro lens if you need more in depth review of this two lenses or the big lens please comment below so that we will try it more in the next weekend that means up to 2 3 days thank you for watching keep subscribing